Yes, yes, boys, and welcome back to some more of that Darken Battle goodness. And more EZA units have been announced, but the bad news is I don't think they're coming to Global, so Global Shaft, pretty much, you know. We, we, we're used to it. We're actually used to it by now, but just before I talk about these EZAs, there's a big chance they're not coming to global as of yet. Maybe they could drop it in the next week, but I highly doubt it. So, no EZAs on global, unfortunately. But, we are going to talk about the EZAs that still, you know, have been announced. Because you know, there's still a little chance they do come to global. And they're coming to global eventually. And they're still coming to JP. Which is going to be... I'll talk about the best for last. So we got the Strength, Go, uh, strength Pan Gohan. AGL Great Saiyan Trunks, LRB Pan, and the best one of them all, my boy, Int Giru. Int Giru. So before I talk about these guys, don't forget, if you do like Dark and content, hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to hit 300 subscribers and we're so close, so definitely hit that for some more videos on the way. Anyways, I'll put him at the back because he's the best one. He is the best one. You want to stay for him. Let's talk about it. Now, these are a bit weird to me. Did these guys need easy aim? No. So, these are Halloween units, by the way. So, that's why I'm really weird that they're getting an easy aim now. And I feel like we will probably have to wait for Halloween for us to get it on global, honestly. But let's see what they do. So, uh, before they were key plus 3, HP attack, defense 50%, goes to 77% for Kamehameha. And a bit of a strength type uh, sub leader skill is going to be useful to nobody pretty much. Uh, raise the defense, raise the attack and defense for one turn, so a bit stronger now. And let's just see what they do when they're easy. Eh? So, attack 100% when performing a super attack. Great chance for an additional 100% and defense 50% with each super attack performed up to 100%. Key plus 3 plus additional attack and defense 50% when there's another Goku family category ally. Uh... I understand it looks okay, but if you look at the teams that they are on, Join Forces, Goku Family, Kamehameha, you will never find a slot for this unit in there at all. So, honestly, I don't want to say anything bad for the fans, but I just think this is a bit useless, to be honest. So, not much to talk about here. I just think, yeah, it's going to be a nice, easy A if they're really struggling to build a Join Forces team. Maybe you could use it, but that's a long stretch. That is a long stretch. Anyways, moving on, moving on to that AGL Great Saiyan. Now, could this one be a bit better? Could this one be a bit better? So, does the exact same thing as the other one's leader skill go, go to 77% with an AGL uh, base sub one? Raises defense, you know, how he always did for some of that defense. So, lowest, en oh, lowest defense, uh, that's okay, that's not that good. Okay, attack and defense 90%, that's okay, plus an additional attack 7% up to 77%. Chance of performing a crit hit 7% up to 49%, which each attack performed, that's okay. Launches an additional attack with 3 or more key skills obtained. Launches another one with 5, and performs a crit with 7. Uh, he kind of did that before, but he never had the hitting 7. Now, hitting 7 orbs is actually really difficult. So I would not even consider that one unless you're running this guy with like an orb changer. So he's just really got his stats up pretty much. Yeah, I, I just like I know it looks really nice that like SA15s are gonna be really nice for these guys anyways. It's gonna be increased stats, they're gonna be doing some more damage, but nothing to really like uh rely on. I mean yes, it's on some teams that sometimes you may not have units for use. Mainly maybe Defender of Justice, so uh you can definitely help out in those aspects sometimes. But honestly, again, I would have to say it's not that big of an easy A for the meta game. You know, for the actual you know team builds, for your main teams. Or like, I just couldn't see this guy fitting in any of them, unfortunately. LRB Pan. Now, this is the one people have been uh, speculating on. People have been talking a lot about this. Let's see what she can do. So, leader skill goes for something trash to... Uh, Something still trash. Causes colossal damage. So it causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. That just went up in stun chance. And uh, 
Greatly raise attack for one turn. That could actually be okay. Causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like that. I don't think... It's, I mean, it's okay, but... Anyways, let's see what it can do, so... So before it just used to recover 3% of the damage and high chance of reducing damage. Now, you get high chance of key plus 3, plus an additional high chance, that is a uh, 50% of key plus 3, recovers 33% of the damage dealt at HP and reduces damage received, so... And all allies... The active skill never got changed. The active skill actually never got changed. So what do I think about this B-Pan? Uh, not that good. I'm going to just lay it down on you guys now. Not that good either. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be crazy, honestly. I didn't think this is something that people should have looked forward to anyways. They weren't going to make it broken as hell. Maybe they could have maybe made it the active skill for two turns. I think that would have been insane. And then, I don't know what else they could have done with it. It was never that great to begin with. So, but... Anyways, that's that's out the way. Hopefully, I did want to see maybe a summonable GT LR EZA. I mean, some of my boys were talking about GT Trio, but you know, we can dream, we can dream. But anyways, now it's time for the best EZA coming. These are the three that we talked about just now. Don't don't even think about them. With with my boy Giru now, Giru. This guy is insane. Look at this. So. Dragon Ball Seekers category leader, you know, that's okay. He's like the sub lead of the other two. This is where it gets good. So first of all, man seal, that's okay. I mean, he sealed before, right? Yeah, he used to seal before, but listen to this now. So, attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 2, attack and defense 70%. High chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack. That's a 50% chance when there's a hybrid saying category ally on the team. That probably will happen. Now listen to this. Dragon Ball Seekers category Allies, key plus three, attack and defense, 40%. A Dragon Ball Seekers buff. Honestly, like, this will help Dragon Ball Seekers, and if any, like, most of the Dragon Ball Seekers are on the new GT Heroes, so he's going to help out that. I will go over those categories on a different video. It may already be out. Do check for that. I will talk about the GT Heroes, GT Bosses. We'll get into that. But, finally... GT Trio getting a bit of help, Dragon Ball Seekers getting a bit of help in general, they definitely needed the help, they're kind of janky. Finally, some justice for the Dragon Ball Seekers. Key plus 3, attack and defense 40% is becoming a trend now on Dokken. And I love it, I think that's the way that support should go. Back in the day, it was literally Turles. Turles was the best support in the game because he gave key plus 3 attack 40%, no defense. Does attack 40%, key plus 3, he's still kind of relevant because he does it for everybody, no matter what category, super extreme, so he's still broken as hell for that. But finally, another good support, so yeah, that is the 4 easy A's, probably only coming to glo uh, JP. Global Shaft, I'm telling you guys, but yeah, let me know which one you like the most, and if it's not Giru, let me know why it's not Giru. But anyways, I think that is going to be me done for this particular video. If you do enjoy, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and that subscription button. But I will catch you on the next video. This is Kizan bouncing out, and I'll see you next time in a bit, dudes.